Hey guys, uh, before I get started in today's video, I just wanted to let you know, we're gonna be doing an SMG live event tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We're gonna go for about two hours and I'm bringing in TJ Dalhaniak, uh, the guy you see playing drums for me on all these videos that we do. Uh, but he's gonna be there as well to answer your questions. So if you've got the time, check it out. Again, 10 a.m. Thursday, April the 30th. Um, okay, now on to the video. Morning everyone. So I got a few questions about how to install a module into a 500 series lunchbox. Um, I thought, hey, that's great. I can show you guys how to install this. Um, I've got that compressor from IGS Audio I wanna put in. So let's take, let's get right started here. So as you can see, here's my old uh, API lunchbox. Um, I've had this hit, sitting here covered up for about seven years. And let's take a look in there and see what we get. Yep, there's our connectors, you can see Make sure we're focused up here and let's see what's in there. Let me turn up the gain here a little bit and make sure I've got some decent focus. Yep. So yeah, that's the inside. Pretty simple stuff here, actually. Let's break that back down again. That's a little bright. Installing one of these modules is, is a pretty straightforward operation. It's pretty much like installing a uh, expansion card into a computer. Just give me a second, I'm gonna pause this. So yeah, that's uh, just a good reminder, you know, if you do use duct tape to cover your empty slots on your lunchbox, um, always keep a little bit of goo gone kicking around so you can get that shit off there. Like I said, that tape's been on there for about seven years. If you're running a studio, you should really have a set of precision screwdrivers kicking around. So you can do these little swap outs. It. Let's grab the module. Again, when you're taking the module out, just be sure not to touch any contacts. It's it's pretty simple. So there it is. And we drop it in. We just want to get these to line up with the slot. Again, it's like installing a PC card. It's really simple. At least we hope it's pretty simple. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, yes, let's get it installed the right fucking way, dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up and I was playing bass recently. Okay, let's try that again. And yeah, you just gotta kind of feel around for it. Here we go. And that's it. It's, that's it. It's in place. Yep. That's all it really takes. You know, as you can see, this just wants to slide over, but that's fine. Lock it down with the screws and we're good to go. Just wire it up at the back. Um, I'm using custom XLR to quarter wrench cables. I, I've made myself, again, always a good idea to uh, have your soldering skills up to par so you can make up cables when you need them instead of having to run to the store. It's always a good idea to keep some connectors around and some extra cable as well. So there we go, there's our API lunchbox, freshly installed with an IGS Audio Alter 500 compressor. I can't wait to try this out. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with it. We're gonna try running this in a, uh, on a snare drum in a minute and see what we get. And here it is in operation in a mix.